So hello guys, um, in the last video we end up here on the load case definition. So let's switch to robot. I'm going to select the load types icon over the right. You may see that that load number one, which is always the self weight, is already defined. After the generation of the finite element match, the first load case self weight has been generated. So now let's select five load one, two and three. Let me close this and let's define these loads. I select live load number one. Select the load definition button, go to surface and pick uniform planar load on contour. This will be the intensity of the load, minus five. Automatic panel selection in the contour plane, okay. It's going to pick the, 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 the panel that we defined previously. So now let's define the coordinates of this load. We are going to define four, the four points, which are the corners of the contour, okay? Two and two, add four and two, add four, one, add and two, one. Add. The first number is the coordinate in the x axis in this global coordinate system, and the second number is the y coordinate. Okay, so let's add. It's already applied. It's applied over here, as you may see. See on green over here. Okay, now we are going to define another load which is live load case number two. It's going to be a knife. So like this, intensity will be minus 10 on the first point and minus 10 on the second point. Okay, and the coordinates will be one minus five, press tab to go down and one, five. Add, okay. And now in red, you've got over here, that knife. This is the first node. This one is the second node. Okay. Now, live load number three, which is a uniform planar load, minus three. Add and apply to. I can select already the panel, or I can go to apply to set the planet over here and apply. Okay, let me close this and now let's define some combinations. We are going to define the combinations by going to loads, automatic combinations, combinations and select full automatic combinations. Okay, you, I don't need to specify the parameters for generating the combinations. You may read that over here in the book. A little explanation, okay. They say uh, that you can change the parameters for the combinations that are, the combinations that are going to be generated, such as the definition of roof relations and so on. Uh, but we are not going to change any of that. We are just going to more and deselect the accidental accidental combination and the also the fire combinations. We just need the ultimate limit state combinations and service limit state combinations okay i'm going to press generate notice that there isn't already any combination defined if you go back they tell you that the combinations will be generated only after you run the calculations over here okay so now let's display Let's go, let, let's see how the loads are defined. Let's go to projection and press here. There we go. Let me go to that load number one. Press this button and this button. You may see these red lines over here. Sorry, you may see these red lines over here. Those red lines are telling you that that load is defined. Now well, let me switch to live load number one and you may see that live load over here, okay. 
let me switch to live load 2 you may see that knife that we have defined and live load 3 the uniform load okay now let's run the structural analysis let's go to the calculations icon over here and I'm going to run robot is running the calculations okay now we've got some combinations as you may see we've got some ultimate limit states some service limit states characteristic frequent quasi permanent limit states okay uh, very good now let me go to results and go to maps I'm going to maximize this this is where I can check the results for uh, finite elements okay we go to tools job preferences units and format others and I want the displacement to have I'm going to increase the number of decimal places from one to three okay and now I'm going to pick live load number three and on the displacements tab over here in the maps I'm going to choose over here in displacements I'm going to choose this to see the displacement I'm, going, I'm just going to alter this over here I'm going to parameters layer of says middle okay uh, difference is that you've got you've got the you've got your slab over here okay in red you've got the middle layer in green you've got the upper layer and in blue you've got the lower layer I want to see my results for the middle layer okay that's why I come here and choose middle okay I'm going to apply and there you go with the displacements you may check the range of values over here you may also select this and this and now we've got some numbers over here okay we deselect this and this so now uh, I'm running out of time in the next lesson we'll talk about panel cuts which is a great feature okay thank you very much and please subscribe